So what's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Uh, subscribe to Doc Trying. You see the thumbnail. Um, do you have a how to get a dog mentality? They say, you know, some people are born with a killer instinct. Um, I'm, I'm not too sure about that. Um, I can understand it. But the reason why I say that is because you have to put, you know, kids go through phases. A kid might have a killer instinct at two, but they might not have it at 10. You get what I'm saying? You might have to introduce it to them or reintroduce it to them because they go through phases just like when, when bo you know, boys are like two or three years old and they like girls and then they go through that prepubescent phase they're like, yeah, and then they come out of it and they're like, oh, yeah, you fine. It's like, to me, that's what the dog mentality is like. But, um, but some people just, they do have it in them the whole way, but that's, that's rare to me. Um, but how do you get it if you don't have it? You compete. Um, and a lot of times that's where people get the mentality because it's kind of one of those things where it's not a bully mentality. Cause some, some people look at the dog mentality as a bully mentality where, where, um, uh, you know, a bully picks on somebody who they feel like they can beat. They've already sized up their win loss options before the fight even starts. And they only deal with people who they can, they, they, they size up and they, and they've assessed that they can dominate. A uh, dog mentality ain't that. A dog mentality can, can come off a plethora of different ways. It could come off hyper aggressive or it can come off hyper jovial or, or, or a, an adjuster sense. Cause the mentality itself is I'm gonna give you the business. That's all. I'm gonna give you the business. I don't care who you are. And then, and, and, and I, and it's like, I know my strengths. I know my weaknesses. You know your strengths, you know your weaknesses. You gonna play to your strengths, I'm gonna play to my strengths. And, and we gonna go at it. That's what's gonna happen. I like to compete just like you like to compete. And the question is, it's kind of the dog mentality is kind of like when you used to watch uh, old Kung Fu movies. Tiger style, cream style. Two different styles competing against each other. And you just want to see which style, you know, can win in the end. So the first step to getting a dog mentality is putting yourself in a position to uh, to get in the ring. Because that's where it all starts. It starts out with you putting yourself in um, a contentious, competitive, pressure situation. And you starting to like it. Because see, you you put some people in a, in a in a space where they have to compete, and they might not like it. You know, they they may be able to compete solo. You get what I'm saying? You know, sometimes people, that's how people sometimes academically compete, and sometimes in business, you know, some people are just solo acts, and some sports are just solo acts. But you're gonna need a team regardless. But to be a dog, you're going to have to actually be around other people to cultivate that environment because the environment itself has to be um, not just assertive or aggressive. It has to be constantly competitive. No breaks taken. You take breaks after you get out of the environment. The environment is all work, no play. Well, I ain't going to say no play. All work you know, all hard work. And if you're able to have hard work and play at the time, get it, get it done. But as long as it's effective and efficient, nobody cares how it's done. You know, if you want to be a dog, you just gonna, you, you're going to have to get knocked down and get up. You're going to have to have a moment where you say, look, I'm on, if I can't do nothing else, I'm going to outwork you. A dog mentality doesn't start right when you show up. A dog mentality starts in the preparation. That's what a dog mentality is. So, you know, I, I I tested myself out against these other people. I see what I need to work on. So now my mentality is now that I have to work on something to, to catch these people and surpass these people, I got to outwork these people. So the next time that they see me, I'm going to be the one ahead. It's it's a constant um, it's a constant mentality of of self-improvement. And knowing the self-improvement and knowing when you step in the room 
you're going to have to do something, you know, show and, show and prove, you know. And that's why you see some guys who are real loud and you see some guys who are not really that loud about it. It's like, hey, man, <laughs> it is what it is. That's why you see some people um, can, some people can turn it on and off, kind of like, like, um, like you can teach a soldier how to kill, but you might not be able to turn it off. You can, you can teach a fighter how to fight, but you might not be able to turn it off. You can teach a um, an athlete how, how how to have a dog mentality, but you can't cut it off. Some of the best people are people who can act, who've learned how to cut it on and off. But that's a process in itself. That's a different thing because you don't need it everywhere. Like, sir, when you get to the point when you have a dog mentality like that, and you know when to cut it on and when to cut it off, you kind of know how to conserve your energy to get the full to give the full brunt of what you're gonna do. Because sometimes when you consistently stay in dog mode, what you what you wind up doing is burning yourself out short in a shorter period of time. You don't conserve that, so you, you you don't need a dog mentality when you're going to the sports bar. You don't need a dog mentality when you're going on vacation. You don't need a dog mentality when you know when when you're at the movies. You don't need it all. You don't need it when you're out. You don't need it all the time, but but you need to have it in you all the time. You know, you know it can't be on you. And that's the difference too. Sometimes, which what I what I think of in society is um, people trying to appear like they have a dog mentality. That's what all of the the fashion and and and, and the and the, um, and, and the tattoos and, and the posturing is for. It's so you can look at me from afar and go, "Oh yeah, they're a dog," but that's not how it works. That is not how it works. You know, you know somebody, you know. You know, it was Mike Tyson. Everybody got a plan, has a plan until they get hit in the face. You gonna know the difference if you you hit somebody in the face and then they I don't want none, and then you hit somebody in the face. They go, all right, let's get it. Good shot. Th those are two different complete mindsets because you know, using a fight as an analogy, if you get in a fight, you're gonna get hit. If you play football, you're gonna get hit. If you play basketball, you're gonna get hit. You know what I'm saying? If you wrestle, you're gonna get slammed at, at some point. You know, you do MMA fighting, you 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 gonna get roughed up at some point. Not saying you're gonna lose, but that that's part that goes with the territory. You know what I'm saying? You play tennis, somebody's gonna hit you with a straight set. It, it's part of the territory. So the mentality is okay. I'm gonna win far more than I lose. I know that. You know, and so when people act like, oh, you're supposed to be perfect, to me they don't have a dog mentality because they don't understand. You know. It's, it's not about it's not about falling down. It's about getting up, and it's about putting somebody down far more than you get put down. You know, it's it's a will thing. It's an effort thing. Uh, it's a preparation thing. You know, it's a self evaluation and self improvement thing. So that's how you have a that's how you have or get a dog mentality. You become honest with yourself, and you put yourself in the fire to see to to, to mold yourself into something better. But um, that's my. Thoughts on this? Like, share, subscribe, or die. Try and catch y'all in the next one. Peace.